Hi everyone, I'm Ben from the Scorpios team. You may recognize me as the guy who operates the pulverizers in the battle box, and today we're going to be assembling a brand new weapon servo. So what a servo is, it's the motor that powers the robot's lifter or arm weapon. So you can see right here, it's this little black box on Scoopsy Daisy, hidden under here. It just powers the arm up and down. For little robots, we steal our servos from RC cars, but nobody makes a BattleBot sized servo. So we're gonna make one today. The original servo actually came out of Rex from season one. And this servo ran four years without any problems. It finally started having some issues in season five, so we're gonna rebuild it. We're trying to make it lighter, stronger, and better so we can put more armament on Scorpios. And so what, how we're gonna do this is we're going to center this shell and lift it up around the commutator without damaging any of the wires. Otherwise, the motor's broken. Bam, just like that. Why is the chuck always missing? I don't know, maybe someone chucked it. Oh. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm at our local hardware store looking for a 632 countersunk screw, as you can see here on my hand. I write stuff down because I forget. And, uh, yeah, there are a lot of screws. Now that Ben's finished the motor, I can go ahead and put on our Anderson connector. So first thing we do is we load one of the prongs into the hydraulic tool. We stick this in and then we close it. This comes down a couple hundred pounds of force. And then you release. And you can see we've crimped that. So this is now together. This is the black. So we're gonna go to the minus, stick this in. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull the tab down so you can get your piece and it will click. You guys, I have a secret. I've renamed these plates the teddy bear plates. It's time for them to go to bed. A tool custom made by Chewy. Everyone always wonders what we use this for. It's so we can take our 18 volt batteries and hook them up to any of our motors, since most of our motors run at 36 or 18 volts. This is just to see if we've assembled it correctly. Ta-da! Want some? And then we get to join them on at the same time. And you have to make sure that the keyway is lined up um, on both of them. And then you can pop. Pop, 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 pop. Tighten pop. this. Both sides. And you really only need to make sure that this one is at the bottom. This one has to be at the same level in order to rotate freely. Don't forget your set screws, kids. They'll cost you a match, I promise. And that's the thing. Then we do the other thing.
it's time for the big moment, the weigh-in. And before we do the weigh-in, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. All right, let's get to it. Our old rusty servo weighs in at a total of 21 pounds. Let's see how much weight we save with this new one. And our new more powerful, prettier servo weighs in at 18 pounds, which means that we saved a total of three whole pounds. Yummy little funny little gummy bear. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yeah, I'm a gummy bear. Dream of tough battles, little ones. <laughs> 